Kathy Kenoyer from Kenoyer Garden Center. Today I'm going to be talking about container gardening. And this is our weekend to have our container gardening seminar. Come help us kick off spring with this seminar this weekend. You can come in any time, March 18th, 19th, and 20th, between 10 and 5, and plant up a container. And it costs $30. For your $30, you will get a container like this, a floor container, full of soil. And our soil is uh, from Quebec, Canada, and it's what we plant everything in here, and we have retail bags of it for you to take home. You will get plants to put in your container, and you'll get a lot of helpers to help you with it if you need extra help. And I want to show you the combinations that you have choices of. The first choice would be a shade one. It's called Hip Hop Rose, and it has Diamond Frost, a Dublin Patient, and a polka dot plant in it. And the polka dot plant is just a foliage. I have this out on my east deck every year. I'm going to be planting it again this year, and it looks like this until frost. I love it, but of me, I love pink. My second choice for shade is a dragon wing, because everybody loves this. If you know the dragon wings, you know what I'm talking about, and if you've never experienced them, you should try some this summer. It will bloom for you in the full shade or the full sun. I have it on my west porch, and it does great for me. I have hanging baskets of it, I have floor containers of it. It never goes out of bloom. So it is a wonder plant that will go in total shade or total sun. And when I said shade for the hip hop, I mean it has to have at least two to three hours of sun. All the morning sun is perfect, but two to three hours of morning sun. This can go shade or full sun, which is great. And then I've chosen four containers that are for the sun. And when I say sun, sun means they have to have six to eight hours of sun. That can be partial. Uh, morning, a partial afternoon, or whatever works for you in your area, just so it's six to eight hours of sun. This one is called Who Knew Orleans, and it has a petunia, a super bells, and a verbena in it. And it is really pretty, and the yellows and oranges, and will do well for you all summer long. And then my next choice is Crystal Sky. Crystal Sky has two petunias and a white verbena in it, and my petunias are polka dot, and they have, they're called Night Sky and Crystal Sky. Uh, of course, we have to have a red, white, and blue. This one's called Liberty Bell, and it has a Petunia, a Super Bells, and a Verbena in it. And my fourth choice for the sun is Cherry Kiss, and it's pink, and it has a Super Bells, which Super Bells is also called Calibaco, a Petunia, and a Verbena. And I like those um, three because they're heat tolerant, they're vigorous growers, and they just will bloom for you all summer long. I do a lot of these, I plant about 30 containers at my house, and I always use a super bell, a petunia, and a verbena, and then I add other things in there too for interest. But I love this, and of course I love pink, so this is what I love is this one. But they'll all do equally as well, as long as you're giving them the correct sunlight that they need. So I'm going to plan up a container. I'm going to show you what you will do with this container when you come in. And we're going to be here to help you. I'm going to be here. There's a lot of staff that's going to be here. So here are my petunias. You're going to get plugs like this. And this little plug is going to turn into what those pictures look like. I promise. It's just everything is timing. So we want them to be little right now. So I'm going to make a triangle. So I'm going to take three of these petunias. Get them out of my tray here and I'm gonna make a nice little triangle in the middle. And I'm just gonna plant them the depth that they are. I don't wanna plant them deeper and I don't want the roots sticking up. So there's my triangle. And for my next one, I'm gonna use three of the super bells. And there's my three super bells. I'm gonna split my triangle and I'm gonna put one, two, three. So there I split my triangle with the super bells. I put my petunia in the middle because I feel like it's the most vigorous. So next I have verbena and I want it down over the edge so it can drape down and over. So I'm kind of putting it just out a little ways from the first planting which was the three little petunias. So I've got three of my verbenas in here now. You've got nine plants in here. And when you come in, you're gonna leave this container here for three weeks. You're gonna come back our open house weekend, which is April 8th, 9th, and 10th, 
and you're going to pick them up then. You'll be amazed at how much they've grown in three weeks. We will water them, fertilize them, and take care of them for you. So that's what you're gonna to get to do this weekend with your planting. I hope you get to come in. And then I wanna just tell you that I do choose a lot of the annuals because I like planting annuals. But you can also do container gardening with perennials, shrubs, tropicals, succulents, vegetables. Back to tropicals, I have usually three big containers of tropicals out on my deck. And my husband Craig likes to plant them. I don't even plant the tropical containers. He plants them, he loves putting them together. We should get him to do a seminar. Anyway, um, they are gorgeous. And one thing about the tropicals, they're so low maintenance. There's really nothing you have to do to them. Just water them and feed them and take care of them. On these, I like to deadhead my annuals a little bit. Like if I have this verbena that has a, a bloom right there, I just pop them off. And you know what I do? Every time I walk past my annual plants, I just clean them up as I walk past them instead of waiting for a month and then it's kind of overwhelming. So just as you walk past them, just take off a dead bloom so you make them look nice. And I think I do it for aesthetic reasons more than it has to be done. And so um, I want to also talk about the vegetable container gardening. People really love that and sometimes people don't have, they don't have a um, garden space. But you know what, get a big barrel like this or maybe you have a big tub or a big wash tub or you have a raised garden. So have a, a vegetable garden right outside your door. And in those gardens you can put your tomatoes, you can put your peppers, you can plant, and that is so deep, you can plant potatoes and, and carrots in there. And you can just dig them up later. So there is just multiple things you can do with container gardening. I want to show you our lettuce bowls. These are ready for you right now. If I was to take this home right now, I would cut off about half of it. And I would use this for supper and store the rest of it in my refrigerator and it grows back so quickly. I had a gentleman in here a couple weeks ago and he took several of these. He says he buys them every year from us and he just loves them and they last forever. And um, we have cat grass. If you happen to have cats in your house, they like to eat this. This way they'll leave other plants alone. We have a lot of cat grass for your cats. And the other thing I am so excited about is our kitchen minis. We have many vegetables. This is something that you can grow in your house. It's new this year called kitchen minis. It's four indoors. Look at the blooms on this tomato. Look at the tomatoes on this tomato. You're gonna to have tomatoes to eat in your house before you probably even plant them in the garden. And this makes great gifts. People are excited about these. They don't have to come out of this container, but if you want it in a more decorative container in your house, you can set it down in something, or you can just leave it like this, or just plant it in something else if you want to. So we have, and of course they're not gonna be big. They're gonna be more like a cherry tomato. And we also have the peppers. We have like the chili peppers and the, um, the bell peppers, but the bell peppers are gonna be like the bite size, that's what they call them, like you see in the grocery store. And this one happens to be a yellow one. And it is starting to bloom right here. So I have several blooms. So you're gonna have peppers soon. I think we have yellow and orange over there. So this is a great thing to get, a new item that we have. I'm so excited. Be sure you come in this weekend and get your veggies and your lettuce bowls. And we planted up a tomato in a bigger pot just to see what it was like. This is a regular size tomato. This is a beefsteak tomato. So you're gonna have a head start on some of your plantings if you buy a bigger tomato like this. So we have pansy bowls. The pansy bowls aren't quite blooming as much yet, but they're gonna get there. It's all a timing thing. They'll be perfect for you. And then we have the pansies that are ready right now. Like these yellow pansies, aren't those pretty? With the little faces on them. I just love their little faces. They would be great there. We have a lot of different colors in the pansies. And then we kind of got some geraniums. I kept them so you could see all the different colors. I have 14 different colors of geraniums across here. And we have them in hanging baskets that are just starting to bloom. So you know what, we have a lot of geraniums. I have them in floor containers, hanging baskets, the quartz, they are gorgeous. We're kind of known for our geraniums. They're really nice, I, I love them all. He's just so much fun. So they're not, they aren't ready to go outside yet though. So I guess I want to talk also about caring for your plants. So when you 
Like you take this home, you're gonna water it really good. But I want you to water first thing of the morning so it can dry out all day long. It's not good to put your plants to bed with wet feet. They do want to dry out. So if you put them to bed with wet feet, they're gonna, they're gonna stay wet the whole night, which is not good. That creates funguses and you just have more problems. So watering first thing of the morning, if you can. If you can't, then you water when you can. I understand that. And so watering is very important. I don't think people realize how important watering is. Getting into a habit and doing it at the same time every day is great. And I wanna talk about fertilizing. People need to water and they need to fertilize their plants. Just like we need water, we need fertilizer. We, our fertilizer, our nutrients, our vitamins, and all the vitamins we get from our food. These are our time release Osmocote made by Scott's time release fertilizer. And for a 12 inch pot, you're gonna to wanna to put four. So you can do this when you come, or you can take these home with you and do them later. And if you have a bigger pot or a smaller pot, just go accordingly. So I'm just gonna take this and push it down below the soil in four different spots. I'm gonna kind of make a triangle around here and maybe stick one in the middle. And those are hidden under the dirt and they are um, gonna be good for six to nine months. So if you're not good at fertilizing, this is the way to go. In here, we run fertilizer through our lines all the time. At home, my husband has a fertilizer tank that when I water my flowers, it fertilizes them with a light mix every time I water. And um, if you like to use your fertilizer, your liquid fertilizer, you should be doing it two times a week. Be sure you are um, fertilizing them that often because as you're watering in the heat of the summer and you're watering every day, every day, every day, they need nutrients put back in the soil. So fertilize at least twice a week. And the other thing we like to do is we like to trim things back. So don't be afraid to take your scissors and cut things back. Like, you know, some of this verbena I feel has gotten tall. So I would just cut him back. And it does not hurt these at all to be trimmed back. We do this all the time here. There are, um, I bet we trim all your plants a couple times before you take them home. And the geraniums, you probably would hardly believe this, but these geraniums, we took all these leaves off about a month or so ago and look how they leafed out and they're starting to bloom. They were just sticks. They were just sticks. So don't do it to your geraniums because if you did it to geraniums now, it takes them about six weeks to come out of it. But every other plant can be trimmed back. Sometimes in July, your plants are, um, they get long and leggy. So don't be afraid to give them a haircut. It's no different than we go get haircuts. It just makes us look nicer. It's gonna make them look nicer. It's gonna just make it round again and just you'll have You'll have great luck with it if you just care for your plants. They need cared for as well as we do. And then, so when I start with the container, any container you want to choose, you want to make sure it has drainage holes. Drainage holes is very important. This container has them already in there. Some do not. So on this one, I would drill a hole. I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of this one so it has drainage. So make sure you check the drainage. Make sure you're using good soil, quality plants, you're watering every day and fertilizing, and giving your uh, plants a little bit of a haircut. So those kind of things are really important. And if you, um, I replace my soil every year. In my containers, I dump them out, I put new soil in. If you have a big container and you don't feel like you want to do that, you can dig out the top half, but make sure your top half is definitely new soil. And if you had problems with your plants, I would say get rid of all the soil. Maybe the bottom half, you could put in some filler like um, the pool noodles. Cut them up and throw them in the bottom. bottom. Um, plastic jugs like milk jugs, uh, broken clay pots. Just anything in the bottom if you have a large container, just so the water can drain. Don't stop the water from draining. Drainage is very, very important. Thanks for watching the video. I hope to see you soon. It will be a kickoff to spring. Hi, I'm Sam with Premier Garden Center. I'm a cashier here, and I also help out with all the tropical plants. Um, today, I wanted to kind of go over what we've just got in stock for the season, since we're gearing up for spring. 
This table is one of my favorite tables. We've got a lot of our more uncommon plants on this table, whether it's the wonderful Philadelphia Mikens or all of our glorious, beautiful um, Hoyas, which I personally adore. Um, we've got several different varieties here, variegated, non-variegated, and the sun stress on some of these is just gorgeous. Um, another awesome thing that we got in stock right now for St. Patty's Day is going to be the Oxalis, which are just over to my uh, left hand side. But first, let's look at some succulents. Oh. Look at all these glorious, beautiful succulents. We did have a couple more, but there was a tray missing. Um, lots of different string ofs, whether it's string of bananas, string of rubies, or string of dolphins. We've even got some string of pearls if you're into those. Um, those will go quickly. We sell a lot of succulents, so if you are into succulents, please come get them. <laughs> Another new fresh item that we've just gotten in is our big, beautiful air plants, um, also known as Tillandsia, if you hear them that way. Same thing, air plants, Tillandsia. Um, they do have a range here. We've got these really cute, almost octopus tentacle looking guys. And these almost look like giant flowers, which are my favorite. Um, I think another great thing I want to show you is uh, these ponytail palms. These are one of my favorite things to suggest to people when they're looking for pet safe plants. They're very, very easy to grow. They're super drought tolerant. Probably water them, I would say, once every two weeks or so. Um, more so if you keep your house warmer, less so if you keep your house cooler. Um, my cat loves to chew on mine. I don't really mind as long as she's healthy. Um, we also have smaller ones. These guys are only $9.99. The big boys are $19.99. Um, they are a great choice if you are looking for pet safe plants for your home. If you are looking for something indoors that is very whimsical, or if you are just of Irish descent and you want something um, to keep in your home for St. Patty's Day, I definitely recommend coming to get one of these, whether it is the purple or the green. Personally, I love the purple because, like I said, they look like butterflies and they're very beautiful. Um, we also have them in a six inch size over here on the left. Um, they're a little bit more full than the four inch, but still just as gorgeous. Um, before you guys go, I just want to show you a couple of other items. We just got in a new, a new stock of pottery. So we have lots of plastic pots, terracotta pots, glazed pots. Um, as you can tell over here, sort of behind me to the side, this is where we keep all of our terracotta. And then throughout all of our displays and over on to my right hand side, there is a lot of other decorative pottery. Um, one thing I did want to address with you guys since it is spring is repotting your houseplants and fertilizing. Um, since we're going into April at the end of the month, now is a good time to start doing those things, you know, pull your plants out of their pots, make sure the roots look nice and white and healthy. If you see more roots than soil, go out and repot your plants. Um, if you're not using that, you may not have to repot for a couple of months, and you may just have to go in a little fertilizer pot every now and then.
lots of nice like wooden plant stands. Um, we've got, again, tons of these just really cute containers. Sam's planted up really nice for you. Um, over here, we've got great pillows. A lot of our pillows are indoor, outdoor pillows, so you can take these off, throw them in the wash. They're just really unique pillows. Um, I tried to make um, color themes this year, so this is kind of the muted tones. Your grays, blacks, whites, Kind of earth tone colors in here. Um, some of my favorite pottery. These are like silver, kind of um, hammered pots here. Um, these are almost like a marble like container. Um, so great pottery for your house plants. Um, just fun little things like this. These are ring holders, or you can just set them on a bookshelf as kind of just your unique home decor. Lots of like wall hangings, just unique items. Um, again, more pot holders in every color. Um, great, just um, house plant containers that are on these like wooden stands. Just unique items that um, you're probably not going to find in other places. More pillows again. We've got tons of pillows in almost every color. Um, so I guess the biggest thing is yes, we are a garden center. Um, we also have home decor. So um, we've got all the plants, and then the gift shop is more for things inside of your home. All right. So this section here, um, this is obviously a very big trending area. Um, just kind of natural colors. Your terracottas, I would almost call this boho. Um, you're gonna see like a lot of, this is like, um, I can't even think of the name, um, I think a butter hot or butterfly chair or like a rattan chair. Um, they're very popular right now. These kind of, um, I don't know if I can reach them, but they are like dried fan palms. Um, just really fun things that you can put around your house. You can put that like in a corner in a tall vase. Um, fall over. Um, we do have like some fun kind of safari little pottery. It look cute with like a little terrarium plant in that. Um, so lots of peach terracotta colors here. Um, got this amazing room divider. We have these in both. Um, it's kind of natural color and also black. Uh, so this area is kind of the fun, colorful area. Um, these are my favorite item this year. These are the Jane Marie totes. Um, they're made out of kind of like a crock-like material. Um, so they would work great for gardening bags, um, taking to the pool or the beach. Uh, you can spray them out with the hose. Um, so I love those. Um, we've got just like great little trinkets, um, these little fish trinkets, tons of these misters. These were like one of the most popular items that we had last year with the iridescent color on those. Uh, these are very popular. We have them in almost like every style. They are the Swedish dish towels. Um, they almost feel like a chamois. Um, so there's the Nebraska ones. We've got tons here that are like watermelon and um, orange slices, uh, kiwi slices. Again, just some bright colored items, fun small pottery here for your house plants, bright pillows, bright wall decor. So this is um, kind of the more summery feel in here. Um, again, these items here, these are outdoor rugs and they work great. I bought one myself last year. Uh, you can spray them off, they don't fade. So um, those were a great seller last year. And then this um, is kind of like our floral area. You're gonna see like lots of floral printed items, outdoor pillows, your rugs. Again, um, these are kind of like monstera leaf pillows there. Um, we do carry a lot of silk floral. Um, so you can do, you can put these outside. Um, so those are really nice there. 
Um, we've got this great candle line. It's called um, Yes You Candle. Um, they're locally made. They smell amazing. Um, again, just some muted colors. Um, just nice stuff that you can sit on the shelves. Um, these were great last year we had them. Um, they're just little bathtubs. We planted like cacti and succulent in them. They sold amazing. So we've got those in about every different style, color. Uh, what else do we got? We'll head over this way. Um, again, we always carry our sassafras mats. Um, they are great. You can turn them, um, I guess, change them out for the holidays, the seasons. Super inexpensive, but adds color to your doorway. Um, we've always got our bigger doormats, um, flags, and we have all of our garden stakes and spinners back over this way. We are fully stocked this year. We've got a lot of great glass decor here, rain gauges, um, small spinners here, larger spinners up here. So that was a big thing people were asking for last year. So we get we went very heavy on spinners this year. Um, so make sure you come and get one before they sell out again. Uh, thanks guys, we'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Anna from the Royer Garden Center. Right now is gonna be a good time to start seeds indoors. Things like peppers or tomatoes, their garden crops are gonna be about eight weeks until you plant outside. May 9th is my favorite outdoor planting date. So we're eight weeks from there. We also have a good selection of seed starting supplies. We carry a Spoma seed starting mix, which is a nice, light, fluffy mix, perfect for tender seedlings. We also have these 72 cell greenhouses from Jiffy. These are great for providing a nice, warm environment for starting their seed. When they get large, you might have to pot them up into a larger pot. These Jiffy biodegradable pots are great for that. We also have smaller seed starting greenhouses. This one has the little pressed soil compact ones that you rehydrate and you plant directly in those. Kind of fun thing that we have are these little seed pumps. So they have various kind of purposes. This one is for stir fry. So it's going to give you garlic chives, Thai basil, and a whole bunch of other herbs that are great for stir fry. We also have some that are great for pollinators, so things like flowers and perennials. Now we're going to move into the main greenhouse and I'm going to talk about spring bulbs. So out here we have a great selection of spring bulbs. We also have starts and sets for things like potatoes, onions, garlic. We even have asparagus starts. This is Jersey Night. We also carry Millennium. Now's a great time to be buying these because we're about a month out from when you want to start planting your potatoes. Typically, a good rule of thumb is going to be Good Friday. So that'll be coming up. We also have beautiful gladiolus, dahlias. We also carry some beautiful elephant ear varieties. This one right here is my favorite. This is mojito. It has very pretty variegation on the leaves. We also have a great selection of lilies and cannas, as well as Persian buttercups or ranunculus. These are probably one of my favorite flowers. Like I said, now's a great time to stop in and get those starts and sets, and we can't wait to see you. Hi, I'm Valerie. I'm with the Perennial Trees and Shrubs at Canoeira Garden Center. Um, it is definitely coming up on spring. Everything is budding out. The lilacs are getting ready to bloom. The Prasithia is putting on its full show right now. Um, it's time to get out there, get your yard cleaned up, and get ready to go. Uh, consider getting some new fresh mulch in there. Turn over your existing mulch, add new mulch, get everybody dressed up and ready to go. Um, start thinking about pruning. Uh, anything like your Prasithias and your lilacs, you don't want to prune until after their initial spring bloom. And then you can go ahead and cut them back. Uh, your clematis, which are over here. Your clematis, if you grew clematis last year, you want to cut these girls down to a third of their ending size. And by their ending size, I mean if they got 12 feet long last year, 
cut them back to four feet. They're going to get bushier, provide you with more blooms, and you're going to enjoy them a whole lot more. We've got several new shrubs that have come in this year. We're really excited about it. New varieties of hydrangeas, some new varieties of wagelia came in this year. Um, we have several different vining plants, including wisteria, honeysuckle, uh, grapevines. Consider an edible garden there. Those are great plants to put in your yard. Gives you spring, summer, and fall interest. Um, we have crab apple trees that are already in bloom. Yours should be coming into bloom here very shortly. Before they do, I do suggest that you get out and clean them up, prune them, look for any branches going straight up, straight down, crossing, open them up so they've got a little more air. Um, they don't like to be suffocated any more than you do. So get out there and clean those up. Clean up your perennials. Now's the time to get rid of any dead plant material from last year. In my yard, I simply rake it to the middle of the garden, let them go ahead and decompose, throw new mulch over the top of it. Everybody's happy, it's feeding the soil, and I'm keeping the worms happy. I need the worms to keep my, my soil happy. We are looking at probably mid-April before our perennials and shrubs become available. Um, last I heard, there are over 24,000 perennials and shrubs that are going to be available to our customers this year. Stop in and see us, you're gonna have a blast.